Council decided to introduce a compulsory service and uh, the reasons for that was to uh, try and ensure that we kept as much organic waste out of our landfill as we possibly could. So our real focus is to drive down our contamination rates with our food and organics collection service. Currently we're at about 4% and we want to get down to best practice of 2% and we think everyone in Shepparton can help us to achieve that. So with that we had about 6,000 properties um, who took up an option of a 240 litre bin or an 80 litre bin for the organic collection. Over time, as our food and organic service really picks up, we'd like to move to a weekly collection service and drop our landfill bin collection service to fortnightly. One of the really beneficial things that we did was consult with different departments within our organisation. So we consulted with the communications and marketing team, community development team, uh, rates and finance, customer service, the youth services team and the positive ageing groups and that was really important to um, open up our networks and find out how we can engage with the broader community. Council provided kitchen caddies along with the green bins and uh, these were rolled out over a three week period. For around six months prior to the commencement of the food waste collection service we went out to loads of different community events, spoke with different organisations, went to schools over 30 events outside of um, normal working hours to go to places where community are already meeting and then engage with them and have a conversation about the new service. One of the major uh, outcomes of all this has been that we've increased our, our green waste by 1,900 tonnes. In other words, that's 1,900 tonnes not going into landfill to a total of about 7,200 tonnes per annum. I'm the owner of Western Composting Technology. The last 18 months we've introduced food waste, firstly with Moira, then with Wangaratta, then with Shepparton and, and Benalla and Strathbogie followed. We were the first in Victoria through Shepparton to operate this facility of its type, an in-vessel uh, system that is totally enclosed, uh, best practice, environmentally friendly. And now what we've managed to do you know, through our operations is to integrate food um, with the biggest issue being contamination. A lot of councils sometimes think that technology is the answer to an issue when in fact it's not. It's how you operate the technology that counts. Contamination of the green lead bin has been an issue and how we've dealt with that is we've implemented a really targeted approach to communicating with residents who are doing the wrong thing. So we have a filming system where we identify different properties and then we send them a letter. So here in Shepparton we're really focusing now on continuing to engage with our community on the environmental benefits of diverting as much waste as possible into the green waste stream. We are now operating on an average of 1.8% which is industry best practice throughout Australia. There's no other council in Australia achieving what we call FOGO, which is Food Organics, Garden Organics, contamination levels that low. Our goal is under 1% and we're looking to achieve that goal and working with councils to, uh, to reduce their already low contamination rates.